Chris, all set? Good, bro. Stephanie. I'm sailing together with my husband and our two-year-old son. We have sailed all the way from Sweden to the Caribbean. Some of you may already know that we have upgraded our anchor from Bruce to Rockna and the difference is huge. In this video we will share our experiences with you and also show you some really sweet footage from when we set and lift the anchor in one of the most beautiful places on earth. But first let's check out our new kick-ass anchor. A 25 kilo, a 55 pound rock now. And here is our old 20 kilo Bruce anchor, which is really a blunt anchor, so it doesn't set that well in harder bottoms. It doesn't really dig in. Whereas the, the Rockna is a lot sharper and has about one third of the weight in the tip. So it digs in a lot faster and it's, uh, yeah, the difference in performance is huge. All in all, we think that the Rockna is a really better all-round anchor. When we replaced the anchor, we knew that the Bruce was a bit undersized. 20 kilo for a 12-ton boat. Well, that's a bit too small to hold her in place, especially when we're liverboards. And contrary to popular beliefs, size does matter. So we wanted a bigger one and we wanted one of the new generation anchors. After having done a ton of research and also talking to a lot of sailors, we decided on a Rockna. We contacted Rockna and they agreed to give us a discount if we shared our opinion on their product. This isn't a paid advertisement, but we did get the anchor for a better price. Thanks a lot for that Rockna. To Rockna! So far we've been using the Rockna for three months, anchoring almost every day. The performance has been excellent. We haven't dragged once. Pretty windy now. Yeah. Okay, so today it's been gusting quite badly. Can you see the gust is coming closer? This is our track for the past about 24 hours now. So you can see we've been going up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And here was a bit slack. We have the anchor somewhere around there, I guess. And we haven't dragged an inch. So that's awesome. When we put the anchor down, you could feel that it was a bit rocky, the bottom, a lot of dead coral. And so the anchor was skipping a little bit. And then it just dug down and you could feel how it set and then we didn't move an inch so that's uh yeah it feels really really good yeah so what are we waiting for we're going to show you some really sweet footage now from when we set and lift the anchor but first chris is just gonna talk about how we do it when we anchor first up find a nice bay where to drop the anchor find a big sandy spot and then you drop the hook and let out lots of chain, at least five to one. So for every one meter of water, you drop out five meters of chain. Wait for the anchor to settle down. Then you start backing up on it. So slowly, slowly start coming back and then you increase your RPMs until the anchor is set. The boat shouldn't move. When everything's settled down, jump in the water, swim up, have a look around the anchor and make sure everything looks nice.
We're so happy to finally anchor without problems and also to share our experiences with you. Uh, I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a, yeah, click that like button. And also please check out our Patreon page if you want to support the making of these videos. It's really easy and you can adjust your support however fits you the best. If you're already a patron, thank you so much. We love you, seriously. Thanks again for watching and have a nice day everyone. See you soon again. Mwah. And our old anchor is a 20 kilo Bruce anchor. Bruce, 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 Bruce. Leo, come. Yeah. Bruce. Oh, that's why I'm not. Hey. Hey. Oi, Leo. Hey. 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 Hey.